Attention bowlers, we are going to get started from the Wakefield Bowlerdrome at Wakefield, Massachusetts. This is the Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour. My name is Steve Kelly and I will be your host and guide during this Class C North match between today's challengers in this Saturday matinee. Our away bowler Andy Klempa versus our home bowler Ryan Billings on lanes three and four at the famous and historic Wakefield Bowlerdrome in Wakefield, Massachusetts. Andy Klempa will be starting out on lane four with a nine drop, starting out hot, leaving only the seven pin on the deck. Not even out of the intro, we have already had a hot start, but Andy just barely misses the spare conversion on a nine drop leave with a perpendicular piece of wood against the, not the seven pin. And he will conclude with a nine box to start out this five string series for Mr. Andy Klempa. Good as always to have you along with us. Originally live streamed on this Saturday, March 16th around 3 p.m. and available for watching again, rewatching anytime upon the conclusion of this match. If you are new to the ACST or Candlepin Bowling in general, I'd like to extend a warm welcome to you and hope you enjoy this match and Candlepin Bowling as a whole. And of course, if you are a returning viewer, welcome back. Your continued viewership is greatly appreciated. Andy Klimpa having some trouble on lane number four with a punch out left side half Worcester and then a couple extra pins for the second ball. With five, six on the deck, four down, six up. He's gonna finish with a six box though, taking two more out for 15 after two for Mr. Klempa. Andy Klempa and Ryan Billings will bowl five strings of Candlepin Bowling in which points will be awarded to the victor of each string as well as additional points awarded to the bowler with the most grand total pinfall out of 14 available points. Andy Klempa missing the head pin off to the left. Five down, five up for a spare conversion. Mr. Andy Klempa on lane four. Nearly gets it, he leaves the eight pin on standing on the deck. The eight pin stands alone with no wood. Andy Klempa is joining us from Academy Lanes in Haverhill, Massachusetts on the road in Wakefield. He'll take a 10 box. Andy Klumpa has a seasonal record of 63 and 119, and when he's on the road, his away record is 20 and 50. Andy Klumpa's season average is 102.2, 19th highest in the C-Class. Klumpa on lane four, slightly off to the right of the head pin this time, as opposed to before where it was off to the left, a right side half Worcester plus an extra friend. Six up, four down. Two extra friends down, actually. Klumpa for the spare on the pocket, again, taking out everything but the six pin. Piece of wood potentially going back for it, but not enough oomph to take it out. Klempa versus the six pin now for a 10 box opportunity on lane four at Wakefield, Massachusetts here at the Bolodrome. I like saying that, Bolodrome. There's more than one Bolodrome. There's one in Woburn and Wakefield. Has a 10 box for Klempa. In fact, this is actually my first time down here too, and when I was plugging in the GPS coordinates, I almost typed Woburn Bolodrome by mistake. That would have been a hilarious mishap on my part. Andy Klempo with a 10 box for 35 after four. His average variance is 4.5 between 97.1 and 101.6 as of March 16th. Klempo with a left side half Worcester on lane four. For a spare opportunity. Takes the head pin and the three pin. Oddly enough, he had no luck on that shot for a 10 box now for Klempa on lane four. Four down, six up with some helpful wood. Take an eight box, concluding his first half of the first game with 43. 43 after five for Klempa. Now Ryan Billings, our home bowler, will be taking the approach for the first time here at the Wakefield Bowlerdrome today. Ryan Billings has a seasonal record of 96 and 100. Ryan Billings is our home bowler. His home record is 43 and 41, slightly over positive. Ryan Billings' opening ball is a six drop. The one, the two, the seven, and the eight pins are down.
Decent spare leave opportunity for Ryan Billings right here on lane four. He has to hit the pocket the right way, but he knocks a pin <laughs> into lane three. If that had taken any pins out, I'm not sure how we would have scored that, but I'm very happy we got that on stream by any account. Ryan Billings will start out with a 10 box to start his day. Ryan Billings with a season average of 101.91. Generally with an average variance of 7.8 between 98.4 and 106.2. Ryan Billings needing to reset both lanes after that ball, at the, that box. Ryan Billings' first ball is off to the right, completely missing every pin, sailing into the right gutter towards the end. Billings for a spare ball now on the pocket, takes out six, maybe seven, only six. Six, seven, eight, nine, or ten box for Mr. Ryan Billings on lane four. Both bowlers struggling a little bit with punch outs and difficult leaves that are giving them no luck. Billings will take a nine box. For 19 after two, compare that to Andy Klumpa's 15 after two. Yes, we are at the famous Wakefield Bowlodrome, which has been be the subject of many cameras lately. Most recently featured on WCVB Chronicle on February 7th, 2024, where most of my info I'm about to tell you comes from. Wakefield Bolodrome, or the WB as I'm going to be calling it, was established and family owned oper and operated in 1953, roughly 70 years ago as of early 2024, and that's a spare for Ryan Billings. That's the first mark of the match. Very slow moving, but very well put very well thought out spare. That's 29 after three for Mr. Billings. And now looks to fill that spare. Ryan Billings, lane four. And that's gonna be a four fill for 33 after four. Spare with a four fill after three boxes for Ryan Billings on lane four. Punches right out the center, no double spare, leaving the three and the six pins on the deck. The Wakefield Bolodrome burned down in May of 1957, but was very quickly rebuilt and even back open by September of this very same year. That is crazy. Anyway, that's a nine box for Ryan Billings, 42 after four. Tom Giordano, the current owner of the Wakefield Bolodrome took over the business from his uncle Sal in 1976, who owned it for 23 years. Had the opportunity to speak with Tom actually just before the start of this match. Excellent, fo excellent uh, person to talk to, really fun to talk to, and he was just giddy that WCVB had basically filmed for him, quote, the best commercial he could ever ask for. And I agree, it's a very well shot special. Check it out on WCVB.com uh, when you have time to look at that and Ryan Billings is struggling here left side half Worcester and right side hot right side half Worcester he's gone full Worcester despite being in Wakefield four down six up on lane four for Ryan Billings and that's gonna be wow a, a five box he went to war for that's a 47 after five for Ryan Billings and that was something I definitely wasn't expecting for him to get I feel like that's harder to get than a strike or a spare some days most certainly. So that's 47 after 5 for Ryan Billings. That includes a mark. Andy Klempa now for the first time on lane 3 here at the Bolodrome. Andy punching out the center and taking out a few extra pins. 5 down, 5 up on lane 3 for Mr. Klempa. Spare opportunity. He'll take out 1 for the road. 6 down, 4 up. The two, the four, the six, and the ten pins are on the deck. Lane three, Andy Klempa. Left-handed bowler. Six box for Andy. For 49 after six to start out his second half. The first frame of the first second half of this five-game series. Tom Giordano has been the owner of the Bolodrome for 48 years and counting. He says the WB was the social epicenter of the town in its earlier years. It features all wood approaches, all wood lanes, and paper scoring. No electronics here to speak of. Clemp on lane three. Off the head pin to the left, but gets a decent leave out of it. 
He's looking at, I believe, the one, the five, the nine, and the ten pins. On lane three, Klempa for a spare, with a spare leave. Hits the right pin, hits the right object pin, but the five pin was very resilient and did not go. So he's looking at a nine or a ten box now on lane three. With a nine of the ten for Klempa, that's going to be a ten. 59 after seven for Klempa. The Wakefield Bolodrome appears in several feature films and TV shows, including The Tender Bar, directed by George Clooney and starring Ben Affleck, released in 2021. They appear to bowl on lane eight in that movie. Then the TV series Julia in 2022 to 2023, TV, TV series starring Sarah Lancashire and David Hyde Pierce. And then The Holdovers in 2023, featuring Paul Giamatti. They appear to bowl on lanes three and four, the lanes we are bowling on today. And they also appear to be bowling on lane 10, or someone does. Anyways, Andy is looking at a 1-10 split. So that's the four horsemen right side minus the middle individuals. And he's going to settle for a nine box. Both these bowlers seem to be having a lot of trouble getting marks today. Ryan was telling me before the match started that this place has a bit of a hard difficulty to it, particularly with the decks and the pins not moving quite a bit, so this isn't, this ain't no Millis, Massachusetts, I'll tell you that. Klempa on the head pin this time, really well executed ball on the pocket, but drops eight, leaving two. That's the, what appears to be the six and the nine pins on the deck. Decent spare leave if he just hits it right. I'm starting to get a feel for these lanes. I feel you can't throw it too hard here. Otherwise, you're going to punch out. You're going to get that double Worcester, just like Ryan got. And then when he took out just the head pin at the end, for the spare Klempa, and that was it. I think he threw it just a little bit too hard, leaving only the six pin on the deck for Mr. Klempa. For the 10 box, Andy will take a nine box. 77 after nine for Andy. Struggling a little bit here. A markless 77 after nine fair amount of points under his average so far. Outside of the Wakefield Bolodrome is alluded to in The Simpsons Season 28, Episode 3, known as the town as Bulger's Bolorama, where Homer Simpson remarks, Boston, they even found a way to mess up bowling. So yes, the Bolodrome has been in a lot of media in the past couple of years. Klempa for the spare and just barely doesn't get away, just barely can't get away with it, leaving only the six pin. Again, we're seeing a lot of that today. My read is that I think it's throw too hard in this place and you'll be punished for it. That's a nine box for Klempa, and that's going to be an 86, I believe. 86 after 10 for Klempa. Andy Klempa with a markless 86 in the first. Struggling on that for sure. Ryan Billings with one mark, 47 half. He's also been having trouble. That five box in particular was murderous for him. He had a left side Worcester, a right side Wor Worcester, and then took out only the head pin. So Billings on lane three for the first time today. That's a five drop. I was told lanes three and four are apparently Ryan's favorite lanes, and that's what they gave us today. They're the movie lanes too. Kind of like how Alita Lanes has TV lanes. There's several different movie lanes here. Billings for the spare, spare leave. He leaves the one and the nine pins on the deck on lane three. Ryan Billings, when he's away, has a record of 53 and 59 compared to his home record of 43 and 41. That's an eight box for Ryan Billings for 55 and six. Billings on lane three. Dropping six, two, four, seven, and six pins. Difficult spare leave, no wood to help him. Needs to hit the two, four pocket to get anything out of this. For the two, four pocket, almost gets it. He hits the wrong side of the two, four pocket, but almost gets the spare anyway, but the piece of wood didn't kick, didn't quite kick over the way it should have. Attempt to ten box for Ryan Billings. 
Ryan Billings, lane three. For that strike, still hunting for that strike, he drops eight. The five and the nine pins on the deck. Billings on the spare, and that is a spare. For 75, plus a ball after eight for Mr. Ryan Billings. Just trying to fix the little ticker there. Realize I hadn't put that up. Ryan Billings filling a spare with more than five. It's going to be six. I always say a fill of more than five is always welcome. That's 81 after eight for Billings, reducing the deficit just by five with two boxes to go. Potentially comfortable lead here. You might be able to build. You can especially get this spare, and that is another spare for Mr. Billings. I said, there we go. It's a five fill for Mr. Billings. Mr. Ryan Billings. I don't know why I like to say Mr. Billings. Ryan Billings is third in C North Division three, ahead of Greg Volante and behind Scott Bradish and Justin Riguero as of March 16th. Overall, he is ninth place in Class C North, one place out of a wild card spot. Trying to get his third mark in a row. Ryan Billings can't quite get that. He's looking at the four horsemen right side plus the eight pin. For the 10 box, it's going to be a 6 box. Wow. Welcome to Wakefield Bolodrome, but that will conclude Ryan Billings' first game with a 102 versus Andy Klempa's 86. I'll just double check those scores just for one moment. My apologies. That's a 101, not 102. quick score correct for the paper copy actually for once the paper copy actually had an issue and my copy was actually the one that was mathematically correct how about that Andy Klemp after a first ball right side half Worcester and then the left side taking out three just a few more pins the one the two the five the six and the ten pins on lane four for a ten box Andy will take a nine box leaving only the five pin Andy had a first game of 86 He's been struggling to get some marks. Had some trouble with some ball bounces and some punch outs, but we'll see how Andy can do here. Andy Klumpa, he is fourth in his division, Class C North Division Four, behind Paul Atkinson, Spencer Alisi, and Brian Patton as of March 16th with a seven drop. His first ball of the second box. The three, the six, and the 10 pins on lane four for Andy Klumpa. Klempa for the spare. That's a spare in the first mark of the day for Andy Klempa. He's excited about that one. He's been waiting for that one today. That's 19 plus a ball after two for Andy Klempa. Andy is overall 14th in Class C North. Funny enough, though, he has a higher average than Ryan Billings. But in the ACST, it comes down to wins and losses. That's going to be a five fill for Andy Klempa for 24 after two. Andy Klumpa has a high single of 142 and a high series of 588. Trying to get the second spare, he almost gets it leaving the six pin. That seems to be the theme today. Spare leaves in which the ball is hitting the target object pin correctly and leaving just one pin behind with no wood. That's a 10 box for Andy Klumpa. Right on the money for 34 after three. Andy Klumpa has 30 10s, 121 spares, and 120 10s for the season. Andy Klumpa has a long list of superlatives for the ACST. 
Five games over 500, three games over 550. He's tied with Justin Ruggiero for ninth high single in the C class. He's tied with Ashley Breton for ninth high series at 588. He's 10th in most strikes in C class and has thrown a minimum of six spares per match so far, as well as having the 10th most spares in the C class at 121, not counting today's match. That looks like that's gonna be an eight box for Mr. Andy Klempa for 42 after four leaving the one and the 10 pins on the deck. Andy Klempa's home lanes are Academy Lanes in Haverhill, Massachusetts. He's from Andover, Massachusetts, currently living in Quincy. He's a certified pharmacy technician at Brigham and, Wing Brigham and Women's Hospital. He studied environmental chemistry at Plymouth State University. Speaking of chemistry, look at the chemistry of that first ball. He dropped everything but the seven pin on lane four. Unsure if that pin is in or out. It might still be in, I think, by my accounts. Seven pin with wood, spare leave for Andy Klempa. Andy hits that piece of wood. I think he probably wished he probably would have thrown it a little lighter. But that's how it goes. He's looking at a nine or a 10 box now. Klempa for the 10 box. It's gonna be a 10 box. He's going to sit on a, f on a 52 half. Here at the Wakefield Bolodrome in Wakefield, Massachusetts, you are watching the Atlantic Cantlip and Singles Tour, this Class C North match between Andy Klempa, our away bowler, challenging home bowler Ryan Billings. A Saturday matinee match at the Wakefield Bolodrome. Your score update in the first game, Andy Klempa threw an 86, and Ryan Billings threw a 102. Both bowlers struggling significantly with marks in the first game. Andy Klempa with a significantly better first half than the previous game. Ryan Billings on the head pin, lane four right on it, drops seven, leaving the four, the seven, and the eight pins for a spare leave opportunity with some wood that may or may not be helpful depending on how you throw the ball. We are going to see how Ryan Billings approaches the shot. Ryan misses the object pin, taking out only the seven pin. Now he's looking at a remedial eight, nine, or 10 box here at the Bolodrome. And he will take that 10 box. For 10 after one compared to Klempa's nine after one. Ryan Billings, he is ninth place in class C North, one place out of a wild card spot. Ryan's high single is 129, his high series is 540. With 21 strikes, 132 spares, and 140 tens. Similar to Andy, Ryan has plenty of superlatives as well. And for the spare opportunity, he takes out everything but the six. Once again, it's another situation where the spare shot takes out everything but one pin. Ryan Billings is, has the sixth most spares in the C class at 132. He has the 10th most tens in C class at 140. That's a nine box for Ryan Billings. He has 1.5 strikes per match on average, 9.4 spares per match on average, 10 tens per match on average. He has nine out of 14 games over 500 for the season and has thrown a minimum of seven spares. There's a strike by Ryan Billings. We've been waiting for that one. I know both bowlers have been eagerly awaiting their first strike of the day. That is a strike for Ryan Billings. Anyways, he's thrown a minimum of seven spares per match so far. It's Ryan Billings filling a strike. First ball, that's a three so far. Three fill to start out with. Luckily you get two, so he gets another shot at it and could get a potential spare out of it. Let's see what Ryan Billings can do here. He needs to hit the pocket. One more, that's a four fill. After two balls, that's 33 after three for Ryan Billings. For the 10 box, another one. Wow, it's gonna be a five box after a strike. A disappointing five box with a four fill for 38 after four for Mr. Ryan Billings. With one to go before he sits. Ryan Billings' home lanes are here in Wakefield at the Bolodrome in Wakefield, Massachusetts. Ryan works in the field of aeronautics and aviation. He's an airfield operations supervisor at Massachusetts Port Authority. That's an eight drop for Ryan Billings, leaving the one of the nine pins. 
He studied air traffic management, ATC, at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University from 2008 to 2012, and Ryan Billings will sit on a spare. After sparing that eight drop for 48 after five, plus a ball. And we have a match this game. That 48 open for Ryan Billings puts him at somewhat even footing against Andy Klumpa after five here in the second game of the Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour, this Class C North matinee match between Andy Klumpa and Ryan Billings. Ryan Billings fighting for a wild card spot. He's very close to it. But Andy Klempa now will continue his game on lane three. Second half, first ball, frame six, dropping six. The three, the six. No, excuse me. The seven, the four, the three, and the six pins. Misses, sails right through the void through the middle, and the void stares back. Looking at a six, seven, eight, nine, or ten box for Andy Klempa. Andy Klumpa recently bowled Greg Vellante in match 14 at Academy Lanes in the Red Room. It's an eight box for Andy, by the way. Andy took 12 points. He did very well. He bowled a 588 series. That's his best this season, while Greg threw a 502. His five games were 86, 130, 125, 124, and 123. An impressive run with one quote unquote warm up game at the beginning. Klumpa's first ball is a wild pitch misfire on the seven pin. He had three strikes, 15 spares, and nine tens in his previous match, and averaged 102.1. If that first game was a little higher, the average definitely would have been significantly higher. But hey, everyone has one bad game every now and then. Clumpa for a 10 box now. He's looking at a five, six, seven, eight, nine, or 10 on lane three in the Wakefield Bolodrome, the WB. That's a nine box for Clumpa. Continuing our theme today of taking out everything but one pin. He's at 69 after seven now. 69 after 7, Andy Klempa averages 102.24 this season. His home record is 43 and 69, a .62 ratio. His away record, meanwhile, is 20 and 50, a .4 ratio. He's bowled 8 home and 5 away. His perfect box percentage is 42. He drops 6, by the way, the 1, the 2, the 7, and the 8 pins left on the deck for a spare leave if he hits the pocket correctly. Misses that pocket, leaving the one and the two. Seasonal total pins for Andy is 6,641 so far, not counting this match. 35 out of 65 of his games have been under 100, so he's been struggling a little bit this season. That's a nine box for Andy. 78 after eight, two to go. One mark so far for Andy, two marks so far for Ryan. Ryan had a disappointing four fill on that strike. Really fishing for some more pins, but again, this house is a very tough house, especially if you throw it rather hard. I've noticed that with both bowlers so far. I think if both bowlers can tone down the miles per hour a bit, I think they can potentially really light this place up. And Andy Klempa is currently with five down, five up, but he misses the object pin, misses the one-two pocket, hits the two-four pocket instead, leaving the one and the nine pins on the deck for an eight, nine, or 10 box opportunity for Andy Klempa. It's gonna be an eight box for 86 in nine. Mr. Klempa, one more to go. Andy Klempa averages 2.31 strikes per match, 9.31 spares per match, and 9.23 tens per match. Spares and tens on average per match are very, very close to one another. With strikes as in all of Candlepin Bowling, the strikes per match significantly lower. Candlepin is a game of spares. That's a seven drop for Andy Klempa. That's a difficult spare leave. He was in the pocket, but he left, unfortunately, the four, the six, and the ten pins. I don't know how he's going to tackle this. A little bit of luck is going to get him the spare on this. Will he get it? Is that luck going to shine through? Unfortunately, no. Just the four pin left on the deck with a piece of wood that didn't quite cooperate. So he's going to look at a potential 96 game here. It's going to be a 95 or a 96, depending if he hits this pin. Andy Klempa's final ball of the second game here versus the four pin. He gets it, 10 box, 96, for a two game total of 182 for Mr. Andy Klempa. One mark, 96. He's definitely observing that the Wickfield Bolodrome doesn't favor fast balls. Causes punch outs and deck leaves that don't do much. 
But Ryan Billings now is going to be returning to the approaches. Ryan Billings is an airport certified employee, ACE, living in Somerville, Massachusetts. He's originally from Topsom, Maine. He's telling me that um, I believe his father was a uh, proprietor of a bowling center in Maine that closed in the 90s. The 610, 610 pocket leave for Ryan Billings, eight drop in the beginning, and the first ball here on lane three. And that's one more down for Ryan Billings. That's an eight fill on a spare. And it's going to be a nine or a 10 box. It's going to be a nine box for Mr. Ryan Billings. So it was 56 after five and 65 after six for Ryan Billings. And since Mr. Ryan Billings works in aviation, I have tons of Top Gun quotes that I had prepared to insert throughout the stream when the time comes. Gotta do that. Top Gun is like the official movie of aviation. That's a seven drop, no, nine drop for Ryan Billings leaving the seven pin. Potential easy spare leave here. Ryan Billings feels, feels the need, the need for speed, except Probably not at this place. Throwing a fast ball is not, definitely not advisable here at the bowl drum, but that is a spare. He does get that single pin spare. Ryan Billings, second mark of the game, 75 after seven. Mr. Ryan Billings. Filling that spare now. Off the pocket to the left. It's a four fill. 79 after seven for Ryan Billings. Hollywood, you look good. I'm going after Viper. Billings for the spare. He misses the object pin, but a piece of wood comes around to take it. Will it take the seven pin? Not quite. Negative Ghost Rider, the pattern is full. For the 10 box for Ryan Billings now. That's going to be a nine box, goes into the gutter. That's 88 after eight for Ryan Billings versus 78 after eight for Andy Klempa. He's on pace to take another two points. Each game, the winner will take two points. If, it, if they tie, it's one point. Out of a possible 14 points if it's a complete shutout. The bowler with the most grand total pinfall at the end takes an additional four. So it's two, four, six, eight, 10, and then an additional four. We can get some wacky point totals, though, depending if on if ties happen or not. Seven drop for Billings. Chops out one more, leaving the five and the seven pins on the deck. For an eight, nine, or 10 box for Mr. Ryan Billings. And he's gonna settle for an eight box for 96 and nine. 96 and nine. He's up in the match by 16. Both bowlers are tied. Just gravy now. Just has to hit one pin or more to take two points for the game. If he somehow gets a zero box, it'll be one point. Ryan Billings on the head pin. That will be the second game for Ryan Billings. That's an eight drop and a potential spare leave. Ryan Billings recently faced off versus Brian Patton in week 15 at the Wakefield Bolodrome. He took four points to Brian's 10 with a 525 series, averaging 101.9, and he misses that spare, leaving only one pin left on the deck. In that game, Ryan's fifth game was the weak spot with an 88. All his other games were over 100 and over average with zero strikes, 12 spares, and 13 tens. That is a nine box for Ryan Billings. He will take the second game with a 105 for a two game total of 207. Taking the second game by nine and is up in the match by 25 at this point. So Ryan Billings so far with a perfect showing and a great performance so far with four points to his name. But we're going to be moving on to the third game now. Here at the Wakefield Bowl Drum, if you're just tuning in, you are in for a treat. This is some Saturday afternoon Class C action at the Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour. This is Andy Klempa on the approach. He's our wave bowler challenging our home bowler, Ryan Billings. Klempa on lane four. Right on the pocket and nearly a strike. Does everything he needs to to try to take that out with only the 10 pin left on the deck for a leave. That involves a very lucky shot on that piece of wood, but we have to wait for it to settle. You always have to wait for a piece of wood to reasonably settle before you throw your next ball per general ICBA rules and what we like to see on 
broadcasted Candleton bowling. Andy Klempa for the spare. Doesn't get it. He goes off for the wood, and the wood doesn't play nice back. So now he's going for a 10 box. Single pin 10 box for Andy Klempa. Lane four. Fires 10 box for Andy Klempa to start out his third game with a 10. Take a look at Mr. Andy Klempa's stats in detail in case you missed him before. He's currently 14th in his in C class overall with a season record of 63 119. He's been struggling a little bit this season. Fires a little bit too hard and too, too much to the left, but he drops six, leaving the four horsemen right side. The one three pocket is the key pocket to hit here. Klempa now for a spare. And he gets it. That was precisely what he needed to do. So that's a spare for Andy Klemp in the second, an early spare in the match, which is always incredibly handy. That's 20 after two for Andy Klempa. Andy Klempa, I hear his nickname is Titan. That's a three fill on that spare. Wild pitch to the right, taking out three pins mercifully. He enjoys going to lots of concerts, shows, Disney World, traveling, like going to Vegas in 2023, and all kinds of things. Andy likes to travel and see the world. Smackdown into wrestling. Super fun guy. So he's left with the seven pin after a spare shot that takes out everything again but one pin. Theme of the day for both bowlers. For that 10 box, he gets it. He nails that 10 box for 33 after three. For Mr. Klempa, who's been struggling to get over 100 today. He's been under average for both games, 86 and 96 for his two games. Hopefully he can get some kind of strike out of this. Klempa fires again off the head pin to the left with another four horsemen right side. He got this before. Let's see if he can get it again. 1-3 pocket. The only difference this time is a piece of wood behind the three and the six pins. Let's see if he can get it. Klempa fires for the spare. He gets it again. He does it again. Two in, two times. Two times are the charm. It's an excellent spare opportunity for Klempa that he took and capitalized on for 43 plus a ball after four. Klempa now filling that spare. He fires right down the center. Right on the 1-3 pocket, and he fills it with 7. Does a great job with that fill. 50 after 4 for Klempa. He seems to be dialing it in now. Piece of wood over the 5 pin might sweep this. But he misses just to the left, taking out the 8 pin, leaving the 5 and the 4 pins on the deck now. Get a closer look at that. See that piece of wood next to the right of the 5? Redlining that would have swept the 3, but unfortunately he didn't hit that piece of wood. And again, he sailed right in between the 2 pins. We can't give him three pins, but how about eight as a consolation prize? That's 58 after five for Andy Klempa. For a two mark 58 in the third game here, that was definitely what he was looking for. He's now starting to get things dialed in just a little bit more than the first two games. And now we'll see what Ryan Billings can do to respond. Lane four, he's off to the head pin to the right. With some woods coming back, he drops seven. Four horsemen left side minus the seven. The one, the two, the four pins on the deck. Here at the Wakefield Bowlerdrome, the infamous bowling alley that's been in tons of high-profile Oscar-winning movies recently. Definitely check out The Holdovers. I think that's the most recent movie that came out. And that's a spare for Ryan Billings to start things out. Nice spare to respond to Andy Klempa's two spares in the first half of the third game here. That's 10 plus a ball for Billings versus Klempa's close 10 in the first. Filling that spare now. Ryan Billings, that's a strike. Dialing it in, that is an impressive showing by Ryan Billings in response to Andy Klempa. That's 30 plus a ball for Billings. Welcome to the Billings show, folks. Sorry, Goose, but it's time to buzz the tower. So his first ball on that strike fill is five. One more pending. We'll see if he can get this four horsemen right side plus the seven, seven pin. 
One three pocket. Let's see if he can do what Andy could do. Ah, and he couldn't quite do it. That's going to be an eight fill on that strike for 38 after two, leaving the one in the seven pins. High low jack minus the 10 pin. Lane four at the Wakefield Bolodrome. He misses off to the right. Snape box for 46 after three. Impressive start by Ryan Billings. 46 after three. As we march right on down. That's what we call a target rich environment for Ryan Billings. On the head pin, he drops six and then a one, one pin falls late for seven. That's the six, the seven and the 10 pins. A spare leaf that could go, but based on this house, it depends on if it's gonna just sail directly back. Throwing it too hard will definitely be the wrong choice. I would maybe try to redline that piece of wood on the left. That's not what he does, and unfortunately what I predicted happened appears to have happened. He just takes out only the six pin, hitting that perpendicular piece of wood full. A 7-10 split now for Ryan Billings. He has to play that wood for any hope of getting them both. And even that doesn't go. That's going to be a nine box for Ryan Billings. Hard fought nine for 55 after four. And we now have a match. That's 55 after four for Ryan Billings starting out with a spare and then a strike on spare with an eight fill. 55 after four versus Andy Klimpa's 50 after four with 50 with two marks for Andy Klimpa. Ryan Billings missing the head pin this time on lane four. He's dropped three. Trying to convert this for a spare. It's gonna be a difficult one. And he gets it though. That was a beautiful spare shot by Ryan Billings to sit on 65 open. Three marks 65 at the half for Ryan Billings. I told you, I said he had to respond to Andy Klempa's two mark 58 and he definitely did so. Andy Klempa on lane three now. Not filling anything, but he's on a 58 half. Misses the head been off to the right. He's got the four horsemen left side now to deal with. His first two spares of the first half had to do with nailing the four horsemen right side. Let's see if he can do it on the left. Has to hit the one two pocket now. Klempa for the spare and he's a little bit too much to the left. See if you're right or left handed, sometimes the orientation of this shot can really be easy or hard for you. Andy Klempa is a left handed bowler who releases on his right foot. That's a 10 box for Andy Klempa, cleaning that up. That's 68 after six for Klempa. Some bowlers can adjust no matter what side of the lane it is, but others cannot, so. Klempa now, definitely on target for his average and staying competitive with Ryan Billings, but he's off the head pin to the right side this time. Looks like four down, six up. Four horsemen left side plus the eight and the 10 pins. On the deck, spare leave on the one-two pocket. And he definitely hits that pocket, but welcome to Campbell and Bowling. Sometimes the pins just don't fall. That's the eight and the 10 pins left on the deck for Andy Klempa. And that's gonna be a difficult shot. That piece of wood is not going to be incredibly helpful in this situation, I don't think. Yep, and that was precisely why. I knew it was going to kick over and not necessarily get the pin behind it. That's a nine box for Klempa for 77 after seven. Mr. Andy Klempa. With a season record of 63 and 119. When he's on the road, that's a strike for Andy Klempa. Interrupting me in the best kind of in the best way possible. That's his first strike of the day. The strikes are finally starting to warm up for both our bowlers here. That's 87 plus, a, plus two balls for Andy Klempa. With two boxes to go and two balls to fill. Will it be a double? No, not quite, but that's a good five fill to start out. I believe we call that the Canadian hay bale or something like that. But luckily he gets two, so let's see if he can spare this up. Ball bounces a little bit. He leaves just the five pin for a nine fill. That's 96 after eight for Andy Klempa now. 10 box opportunity here. If you can hit the perpendicular piece of wood in front of the five pin. Will he get it? He will get it. That's the 10 box. 106 for Andy Klempa with one more to go. One more to go. 106. He's over average. So he's definitely doing a lot better now. 
We're having a fantastic time at the Woburn. At the, excuse me. <laughs> I knew I was going to do that. We're having a fantastic time at the Wakefield Bowladrome watching Andy Klempa bowl against defending home bowler Ryan Billings here on the Atlantic Camelton Singles Tour. If you're just tuning in, this is a season-long series of one-on-one -on -one Camelton bowling matches between challengers organized into classes and divisions competing for playoff contention. Andy for the spare, and he gets everything but just the seven pin. Continuing our theme today of the spare shot leaves one. He's looking at a 115 or a 116, depending on if he gets this pin now. And it will be a 115 with that nine. For a three game total of 297 for Andy Klempa, rallying here in the third with a 115 to make up for his somewhat slower first and second games with the 86 and 96. But Andy Klempa has finally arrived in Wakefield and now Ryan Billings is looking to respond. On the head pin, filling that spare with four, that's the traditional spread eagle, the four pin spread eagle for 69 after five, very nice. Ryan Billings for the spread eagle for the spare leave opportunity. Will he get it? He hits the right pocket. Sometimes you have to pick the pocket that you're good at for getting that spread eagle and spray and pray more or less. But that's the three and the six pins left on the deck for a 10 box opportunity for Ryan Billings. That's gonna be a nine for 78 after six. Compare that to Andy Klempa's 68 after six at the same point in the match. Ryan Billings, none too eager to seed any points. We'll see if he can stay on pace with Andy Klempa. Billings fires. He's off the head pin to the right, but gets a decent leave. Eight drop, one in the nine pins on the deck. That piece of wood next to the one pin may be slightly helpful, but based on the way the pins have been falling today, the ball's been sailing straight backwards with full shots. Let's see if, it, see if that theory applies here, but not quite. It was kind of full, but didn't take out the nine pin. So now he's looking at a nine or a 10 box. And it's going to be a 10 box for Mr. Ryan Billings. 88 after seven now. Compare that to 77 after seven for Andy Klempa. This is a tight match. Andy Klempa did have a strike coming up here. So Ryan Billings will probably need to get some semblance of a mark or three tens, whichever works. And he's off the headpin to the right once again. That's a five drop. Almost at a six drop, but that ten, seven pin definitely didn't want to fall. This leave opportunity involves hitting the one two pocket and hitting full enough to take out the nine pin. Will he get it? Hits the pocket, but hits it lightly. The four and the nine pins left on the deck. So that's not going to be a spare. It's going to be an eight, nine, or ten box for Ryan Billings. And that's going to be a nine box for Ryan Billings, putting that 97 after eight. Let's take a look at Ryan Billings' stats here. He's currently ninth. He's one place out of a wild card spot. So points today, particularly 14 points, will definitely make him very happy and put him in great playoff standing. Season record of almost 1.0, 96 and 100, with an average of 101.91. And will he get the strike he was looking for? He takes out everything with but the six pin, with a piece of wood just and circling it, but doesn't take it out. It's single pin, six pin spare opportunity here at the Woburn Bowladrome. The bowlers struggling to get marks today, but now they're starting to wake up. Will this be a spare? That's going to be a spare, and that might be the game for Ryan Billings, or at least it's becoming more and more of a certainty here. 107 plus a ball in the ninth. Compare that to 106 and nine for Klempa. So Billings now filling that spare on the head pin. More than five, more than six, more than seven. It's going to be an eight fill. That's 115 for Billings. Klempa had a 115 in the 10th. And that will be the game for Ryan Billings because that eight counts as double. Getting the spare at this point is just piling on additional bonus pins for later for an off game potentially. Will it be another spare? And that's a lucky spare for Ryan Billings. Wow. Wouldn't have played. That's not quite the way I would have played it. But hey, in the world of Candlepin Bowling, who cares how you get it? As long as you get it, you get it. That's 125 plus a ball for Ryan Billings. 332, three game total plus a ball here. It's going to be. That's a, it's a seven, uh, three, three fill for Ryan Billings. Three down, seven up. That's 128. 
in 10 in the third game for a three game total of 335. Brian Billings up in the game by 13 and up in the match by 38. Three game total of 335, 128 for Ryan Billings versus Andy Klimpa's 115. Both bowlers having great games. But Ryan continuing his crusade here to defend the homeland of the Wakefield Bowladrome. Still batting 1,000 for today. Andy Klempa with a three game total of 297. Andy Klempa starts out with a six drop. Left side Canadian hay bale minus the eight pin in the back row. Looks like the two, the four, the five, and the seven pins with a decent spare leave opportunity, but that piece of wood, depending on its positioning, may not do what you're thinking it's about to do, but we'll see. Andy Klempa for the spare. Klempa fires on the lane four, and he throws it a little bit too hard, and the wood deflects the ball just as I thought it might have done. The two and the five pins left on the deck. For the 10 box, it's going to be an eight box for Klempa. If you're just joining us, thank you for checking out this Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour match between Andy Klempa, our away bowler, and Ryan Billings, the home bowler, at the Wakefield Bowladrome. I hope this broadcast finds you well. Everybody involved here, from the bowlers to the staff you cannot see around me, appreciate your viewership and interest in, live, in this live stream as well as Candlepin Bowling as a whole. I know um, the owner, Tom, here, he is just over the moon that, he's, that this place has been getting so much press lately. Clempa for the spare, and he doesn't quite get it. Pins wrap around and dance around, leaving the one and the two pins on the deck. And he's going for an 8, 9, or 10 box. He's going to get a 9 box for 17 after 2. Folks, if you live in the area or are willing to make the pilgrimage, the Candlepin Bowling community would absolutely appreciate your interest and visitation. Check out candlepin.org and click Go Bowling to find your nearest center if you would like to give this regional unique sport, unique regional sport, a try. Klempa, again, missing the headpin off to the left for the 4 horseman right side plus the 8 pin. He's been good at getting the four horsemen right side today. Let's see if he can make this shot on the 1-3 pocket and take the 8-pin out in the process. Clampa with a spare leave. And uh, he hits the right pocket, but he hits it a little bit too hard and too full, leaving the 8 and the 10-pins on the deck. Clampa for the 10 box, 8, 9, or 10 now. It's going to be an 8 box for 25 after 3. So if you're watching this and wondering what the heck is candlepin bowling, what am I watching? Candlepin bowling is a sport in which a bowler rolls a ball down a lane in an attempt to knock down up to 10 pins in a frame, also known as a box in the candlepin lingo. Depending on how soon those 10 pins are knocked down, the amount of points awarded to the total score become more valuable and offer more chances to compound and provide higher returns. And Klempa, wow, that shot's hard to get done to strike. Can we, can we talk about this for a minute? He took out the one and the nine pins, and only the one in the nine pins. This is a shot you almost never see, and I think there was kind of a thread about this on the Candlepin Chat Facebook group recently, but it was talking about if you take out the one, the eight, and the nine. McClumpa didn't even do that. He took out the one and the nine pins, and just that. Three, six, ten now left for the ten box for Andy Klimpa, and he will take that ten box for 35 after four. So, for example, in Candlepin, knocking down nine pins in the first ball and then the tenth pin in the second ball is known as a mark and results in what is called a spare, in which the first ball of the next frame effectively awards double. That's known as a fill. Not this first ball, leaving the one, the eight, and the ten pins on the deck on lane four. For a spare leave that isn't impossible, the wood might help with some pinball action. Let's see what Clampa will do here. Takes out just the 8-pin. Spare opportunity missed, but he has the 1 and the 10-pins to contend with for an 8, 9, or 10 box. What's it going to be? It's going to be a 9, 9 box. That piece of wood settles. 44 after 5. Somewhat hard-fought, markless 44 after 5 for Andy Klempa. Definitely struggled a little bit there. Let's talk about the standings. So, as we were discussing before, Ryan Billings is just barely out of the wild card spot. Andy Klempa having a bit of a s 
struggling season with his win-loss record, but you know, a couple of 14 0s will definitely get him right back in it, but today he's been struggling to get any points so far. Even with that great 115 game in the third, Ryan Billings responded with a 128. Billings with a spare to start out his fourth game here. He's still on fire from that 128 he just threw. If you're just watching this and want to rewind a bit, go, out, go back and check out his 128. You know, for the C-Class, this is pretty impressive bowling, but from Ryan Billings today, 335, three game total so far. Seven fill on that spare. He's been doing a great job just dialing it in today. The three, four, and five pin triangle. It's normally a diamond, but one of the pins is missing from the diamond and he completely whiffs that off to the right. So we're looking at a seven, eight, nine, or 10 box now for Ryan Billings. Billings for the 10, and that's the 10. That's the three ball spare. Some might call that the Paul Grant special. Miss the second, get the third. It's 27 after two for Ryan Billings now. Ryan Billings, Airfield Operations Supervisor at Massachusetts Port Authority. And that's a spread eagle, a three pin spread eagle. This leave is always difficult. You have to pick a pocket, pick the 2-4 or the 3-6 pocket. Try to take something out. And he misses that pocket, taking two more out. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, or 10 box now for Ryan Billings. Thinking long about it, hard about it. He fires, leaving an 8 box, leaving the goal post, the 2 and the 3 pins. That's a 35 after 3 for Mr. Ryan Billings. Ryan Billings, record at home is 43 and 41, positive record. He fires on lane four, takes out just a few more, half Worcester and then some. Six up, four down after one ball. The spare opportunity will be pretty if he gets it. And wow, he got a few more pins out than I thought he was going to get, but he's left with the three and the six pins on the deck. For eight, nine, or 10, as we just wait for a piece of wood to either roll out or be cleared. It is definitely out, it's out of the light. Seems to have settled out of bounds, so we will pause real quick for a lane clear. Let's take a look at some standings while we're at it. So that was the wild card, as we were talking about before. Both bowlers are trying to claw their way back in their divisions a little bit. Andy having a little bit more of a hill to climb, and Ryan Billings is third, but it's not as far away as you think. And apparently Andy says that pin is in, believe it or not, behind the line, the line of bounce. And it kind of helps Ryan and kind of doesn't. That's a nine box for 44 after four. 44 after four for Ryan Billings with one to go before he sits. Andy Klempa had a 44 half after five, so He's technically ahead on pace, but we'll see what he can do here. A mark would really help him out right here. He already has one mark for the half. Ball bounces, misfires a little bit, but still connects with the head pin, leaving the seven and the 10 with wood. Now, I've been bowling a while. I don't consider myself an expert, but I would be very careful about how I would play this wood. I'm not sure I would hit it very hard based on its placement, but let's see what Ryan can do. He hits it just with the right velocity. He doesn't throw it too hard and goes for the spare, and he gets the spare. That's an open 54 to sit at the half of Ryan Billings. 54 plus a ball. Now, Andy Klempa, who has been struggling to get a mark this game at 44 after 5. He's been struggling all day, really. He had a great third game at 115, but Ryan Billings just can't be caught today. So we now return to Andy Klempa. on lane three at the wake at the Wakefield Bolodrome. There we go, I almost said it. I almost said Woburn Bolodrome. Six drop for Andy, missing the head pin off to the left. The four horsemen right side are what he has to do to contend with. And he has gotten this twice before. Watched him do it. Let's see if he can get it this time. This is his favorable side. And he misses the pocket off just by a couple of centimeters, but that's enough in Candleman Bowling to throw you off course. The one, the six, and the ten pins on the deck for Andy Klempa for a ten box now. Klempa fires. 
leaving only the head pin. That's a nine box for 53 and six. Mr. Andy Klempa. Here's where our bowlers sit in terms of averages. Andy Klempa actually averages higher than Ryan Billings, believe it or not. But again, it's about your performance in the moment rather than overall. But it's just an interesting stat that Andy Klempa with a fairly high amount of strikes normally and a higher average has been really struggling here at the Bolodrome today. He has 30 strikes versus Ryan Billings' is 21 strikes, but that's not counting this match today. Klempa missing the spare opportunity, leaving only the head pin for a 9 or a 10 box. For the 10 box, he misses the head pin, hits the wood behind it instead for another 9 box. 62 in 7 for Andy Klempa. With three to go here in Woburn at the Wakefield, not Woburn, oh my goodness. Start a counter for the amount of times I'm going to say that today. In Wakefield at the Wakefield Bolodrome. Too many Bolodromes, and he does it again. And by again, I mean this is the traditional one, eight, no, the one, the eight, and the nine, the screw you shot. Maybe I'll call it that. Before he took out the one and the nine in the previous game in a previous attempt. Six pins down, <laughs> four pins up for a 10 box. He's just fighting for pins at this point. And that's a nice 10 box. That was a nice recovery, a great out. 10 box for Andy Klempa for 72 and eight. Two to go, he really needs marks in order to get out of the danger zone. Haha, <laughs> see what I did there? Ryan Billings will be bringing the danger zone when he comes back up, but Andy Klempa needs marks. And that ball misfires and bounces off to the right. Wild pitch to the right. Three down. Two down, I'm sorry. Didn't see that sleeper pin behind the three pin. And a couple more down, leaving the two, four, and the seven pins. This is a good opportunity just to remind you if there are any scoring errors that you see on the on-screen display, the score on the stream is not the official score. Our bowlers have a paper copy that they are maintaining separately. So if I make a mistake or you see something I don't, don't worry. Our bowlers are scoring separately. This is just more of a convenience for you folks at home just to see to the best that we can. Anyways, that's a nine box for Andy Klempa. That's 81 after nine with one to go to conclude the fourth game for Andy Klempa, and he's off the head pin again to the left. He's been having some trouble with wild pitches. One off to the wild right, one off to the wild left this time. The spare leave is going to require effectively a strike shot. Andy Klempa, another bouncy ball, leaving the center diamond, the one, two, three, and five pins. He's looking at a maximum 91 game at this point. Difficult, difficult game for Andy Klempa today. Difficult match for that matter. He hasn't taken any points so far. That's a 10 box and a 91 to conclude his fourth game. For a four game total of 388 for Mr. Andy Klempa. He's been struggling today, no points to his name today. But Mr. Ryan Billings and the danger zone that he's been bringing. He's continuing his streak of marks and incredible shots today on lane three. Filling a spare, Billings fires, slain three on the head pin, drops seven almost immediately. Six, seven, ten with a piece of wood that's running away from us, and this one is definitely out this time. Guess we'll pause to clear that piece of wood and see if we'll show you some stats about Wakefield Bulldrome again. Talked about this earlier, but yeah, this, this house is very old, established in 1953. It's been family owned and operated with two owners over the past 70 years. Current owner is Tom Giordano. Just spoke with him just a little while ago. He's been owning this place for 48 plus years and he shows no signs of stopping. This place was rebuilt in 1957 after a fire in which it burned down and was rebuilt within months. The community rallied to save the place and save it they did. Again, check out the WCVB Chronicle episode that aired in February about the Woburn, the Wakefield <laughs> Bolodrome. It's going to be a nine box for Ryan Billings. After that gutter shot on the seven pin. So he has 70 after six. He's very comfortably in the lead right now. Andy Klempa with 53 and six. Billings would have to have a catastrophic four boxes to not take this game at this point, but never say never. 
Billings on lane three, fires. Takes out nine, a slow nine. I'm going to fix this pin cam here. It looks like it's drifted a little bit. Here we are. It's funny, you can have a camera seemingly all set for most of a match and all of a sudden you realize it's drifted or something. Funny how setting up cameras in a bowling alley works. Ryan Billings missing that spare, unfortunately. But he gets the 10 box. 80 and 7. 80 and 7 with two marks. Three to go. Every game Ryan Billings has thrown today has been over 100 and over average in this Class C match. And excuse me, I just realized I had the wrong class mat, wrong class designation written on the top. It's always one thing you get wrong in one of these streams. Luckily, I think that's one of the only things today. Everything else going smoothly. That's a five drop for Ryan Billings. Spread eagle minus the seven pin for the spare, and he sails through the middle. Oops. Take a good look at that again. Spread eagle minus the seven pin. This is always a pretty shot if you can make it, but this is for the 10 box, not a spare. And again, he sails through the center. Billings calls an audible on that one. A little bit frustrated about that shot, but that will be a five box for 85 and eight. He has to get to 91 or better to take points. Like they said in Top Gun, you don't have time to think up there. If you think, you're dead. Seven drop for Ryan Billings. Sometimes thinking in Candlepin Bowling can definitely be detrimental to a bowler if you start getting in your own head after a while. One and the eight pins on the deck with a decent spare probability for Ryan Billings, and he misses it off to the right, though, unfortunately. I say decent, that is if you connect with the head pin. Going for the 10 box now, Ryan Billings. That's a nine box. Leaving the head pin, that's 94 and nine. That will be the fourth game for Ryan Billings. 10 points to his name today. With one to go. So far, it's a shutout for Ryan Billings. This will be great for his playoff aspirations in terms of getting into the wild card. Billings on the head pin, and wow, that's an interesting predicament there. The four pin sliding over and wiggling, but not falling. So we have a two, four, five, ten split with a very tight two and four pins because the, the four pin slid closer to the two pin. Billings for the spare. Misses everything, but the ball comes back and wow, sometimes somehow takes the 10 pin out. So two, four, five, an awkwardly position two, four, five because the four pin slid for the 10 box. He takes out that wayward pin for an eight box to finish with 102 to tie his first game for a four game total of 437 for Ryan Billings and Andy Klempa with a four game total of 388. We have one game to go. The game that will decide the total. Billings is up in the match by 49. So if Andy can somehow defeat Ryan Billings in the fifth game and overcome the deficit, he will take four points and potentially six points if he wins the fifth game. That's basically the most he can hope for at this point in terms of points. Hoping Klumpa doesn't get shut out here at the very least, but so far Ryan Billings has put up a fantastic performance here at the Wakefield Bowl drum today. Klumpa opening up with an eight box, missing the head pin, but taking out everything but the one and the three pins on lane four. We're at the Wakefield Bowl drum. Andy Klumpa, season average of 102.2, the 19th best in class C. And he gets the spare. Says he doesn't know how, but he'll take it. You know what? In Candlepin, as long as it's a legal spare, you take what you can get. That's a spare for Andy Klumpa, batting a thousand here in the fifth game so far. Ten plus a ball after one. He'll fill that spare with pending right now. Fires. Seven up, three down. That's a three fill. Thirteen after one for Andy Klumpa. Threw that ball a little bit too hard, held onto it a little bit too long. Actually, he's a lefty, so. I'm not sure what happened there, because he released left and, but he makes up for it with a second spare. 
That was an angry ball. We call that the angry spare when you get a crappy fill and then spare it for a second try. That's two spares in a row for Andy Klempa. 23 plus a ball after two. Here in the fifth. Again, he has a big deficit to make up, so any mark he can get will definitely help. Klempa filling a spare. Again, off to the head pin to the right side this time. That's a better fill. It's a four fill this time. Klempa now for another spare. Will he get it? I saw Ryan twitch a little bit. He thought he got it, but just missed it off to the right by a little bit. Now he's looking at a five box or better. Excuse me, four box or better. I hope he gets something out of it. And he almost does. He takes everything out but the five pin for a nine box. 36 after three for Klempa. I think he's definitely feeling the pressure just a little bit here. But he's got two to go. He's 36 and three. Excellent start, double spare, three three fill, four fill. Fills could have been a little bit better, but hey, sometimes that's what you get in candle pin. Klempa off the head pin to the right, leaving the head pin and the four horsemen left side. He's been very good at getting the four horsemen right side today, but the left side stands to reason that he's been having a little bit of trouble with that, but he puts a good, a good bid in for it, leaves only the four pin for a nine or 10 box opportunity for Klempa. And it will be a nine box for 45 and four for Handy Klempa. Hey folks, so if you like this kind of Candlepin content, you might also enjoy the Friday Night Pro League on Candlepin Bowling Network, as well as the content on the Candlepin Corner YouTube channel where we're airing new episodes of Candlepin Skins, where we have bowlers competing for marks to win money and if you're interested in Canopin skins, I believe the next roll-offs will probably be posted on the Canopin chat Facebook page. Alexa Spooley will be honchoing that. It's going to be at Lidl Lanes in Nashua, New Hampshire, for the first season at least. We've been having a great time on Canopin skins. I've been on it for a few episodes. I don't want to spoil what happens, but I've been on it for a while. And Klempa takes out just the head pin after a six drop. Now there's seven down, three up. Oh, that's just, excuse me, I missed the ball, but that's going to be a three, uh, seven box in general for 52 after five for Klempa. And Ryan Billings will be taking the approach for the final first half in this fifth game. And check out Candlepin.org if you want to go bowling to find your nearest center, by the way. Oh, that's a half Worcester for Ryan Billings to start out. A bit of a misfire. But yeah, there's plenty of Candlepin bowling centers all over New England, so check them out. A lot of them concentrated around the North Shore, greater Boston area, but there are some that go all the way up to Maine, some in Vermont even. Check it out. Camelpin Bowling is fun. I can attest to that. It can be a bit of a frustrating game, but it's also fun. Two adjectives starting with capital F. Speaking of capital F, that is a banana split, that of which contains no Fs. Ryan Billings will start out the first box of the fifth game with a six box. Really frustrating start for Ryan Billings, who has had four great games, 102, 105, 128, and 102 for the day. Drops seven, three, four, and six pins on the deck. Hitting the four, six pocket the right way will get will probably get the spare. Or if you are lucky enough to hit the left side of the four pin, you will take out everything. And he goes for the 4-6 pocket, and that's a spare for Ryan Billings. 16 open after two. Three spares in the match so far, and we're only in the first half. Doing great, doing great in terms of pinning and spares in this fifth game. Ryan Billings filling that spare with more than five. It's going to be seven for 23 after two, on pace with Andy Klempa, mostly. So, folks, before we finish today, just want to say a special thanks to our ACST League Commissioner, Danny Finn, our next-gen stats powered by Micah Imperato. That's another spare by Ryan Billings, converting that seven drop to another spare, another double spare, the second double spare of the first half. 33 plus a ball for Ryan Billings. Um, also, special thanks to Brian Hebert for statistical graphics used in this broadcast that I've been shamelessly stealing for the PowerPoints. Of course, we... He, uh, I worked with Brian to get our slides kind of rehabbed and looking a little bit better than what I came up with in PowerPoint. Brian did a great job with that. 
I think the staff at the Woburn, not the Woburn, the Wakefield Bowdrome. <laughs> that's an eight. Anyways, that's an eight fill for Ryan Billings, by the way. He misses the spare, leaving only the five pin on the deck. Tom Giordano for keeping this place looking fantastic, sounding fantastic. Wakefield Bolodrome for these 70 plus years of operation. That's a 10 box for Ryan Billings for 51 after four. And overall, yeah, so just thanks to everybody, really. Thanks to you for watching and hope you like this broadcast. If you're just tuning in, um, this broadcast will be available afterwards both on the Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour Facebook page, and I will also be uploading a copy of this to Candlepin Bowling Network on YouTube.com at some point after the conclusion of this match, once I just get home and clean up the recording file a little bit. Ryan Billings dropping six and then missing the spare on the right side, four horsemen. The one, the three, the six, and the ten. Or the ten box. That is missed the second, get the third. That's a three ball spare. That's a ten box. 61 half for Ryan Billings with a double spare, two tens and a six box. Explosive, explosive fifth game here. Plenty of spares, spares and stereo, spereo, spereo, <laughs> stereo double spares. Yeah, I call that spereo. Andy Klempa on lane three, missing the head pin but getting a generous A drop, the one and the eight pins on lane three. This is another spare opportunity where if you connect with the head pin, you have a decent probability of getting a spare, but you have to hit that head pin. You have to hit it right, and he misses that head pin. Feels like a curse. Both times I've talked about this shot, our bowlers have missed it. Andy Klempa versus the head pin for a 10 box. It is going to be a 9 box for Andy Klempa for 61 after 6. Folks, if you enjoyed what you saw and want to see more, I invite you to strike, comment, and subscribe to the Atlantic Candlepin Single Store page on Facebook, as well as Candlepin Bowling Network, Candlepin Corner, Alley Chat, and Bowling Nerd Network, where all kinds of other videos, streams, and productions are regularly posted in addition to results and statistics. Andy Klemp before the spare now on lane three. He misses that one two pocket, leaving the one and the seven pins on the deck. Starting to look a little bit more likely that Ryan Billings may be going 14 0 today. I don't wanna I don't wanna I don't wanna say for certain, but unless Andy Klemp can get some marks, I think Ryan stands to catching up real quick if the average pins per box he's been putting up in this game continues onward. Andy Klempa started out with a double spare, but look at that, that's a strike. I'm gonna stop talking about that, and I'm gonna say look at that strike by Andy Klempa, because he seems to have taken whatever he was working on and corrected it. For 79 plus a ball, plus two balls for that matter, after eight. This is Andy Klempa's chance to retake the lead and almost a double strike. Oh, he takes out everything but the five pin for a nine fill to start out, plus one more ball. Could be a ten fill if he takes out this five pin for a potential spare on strike. Klempa for the spare on strike, single pin spare. He misses it to the left. Nine fill, 88 after eight for Klempa. For a nine or ten box for a potential 98 and nine. And that's a three ball spare, miss the second, get the third. That's a 10 box, 98 after nine for Andy Klempa. One more to go, maybe three big strikes will get things going for him. On pace for his average at least, so 486 so far, five game total plus another box. Folks, there's some upcoming events and tournaments. I'll try to flash this slide a few more times before we go today. Tomorrow in Concord, New Hampshire, we have the best box tournament at Batwell's Bowling Center. It is a doubles tournament in which you try to concoct the best game possible between the two of you. It is a qualifying series of strings that you bowl, and then you go from there. That will be tomorrow starting at about 11 a.m. at Batwell's Bowling Center. I would recommend getting there at 10 a.m. if you plan to be in it, of course. That's what they have requested. John Alosa heading up that tournament. 
Six drop and then chops out one more. Andy Klempa, seven, eight, nine, or ten box to conclude his fifth game. It's going to be a nine box for 107 to end the fifth game for Andy Klempa for a five game total of 495, 86, 96, 115, and 91 along with the 107 for Andy Klempa. His third game was his best at 115. Now we have Ryan Billings with a 61 half. Let's see what he can do to close this out. If he can get 107, he ties. If he can get 108, he will take the fifth game and take everything. He's looking at a potential 14-0 today, and he's on the head pin for a nine drop. That was looking like a strike really early on. But the six pin remains for Ryan Billings. Single pin spare opportunity. Let's watch what Billings can do. Billings fires. Misses that six pin, single pin spare off to the left. Negative Ghost Rider, the pattern is full. Ryan Billings works in the field of aeronautics and aviation. That's why I'm making all these Top Gun jokes today. That's a nine box for Ryan Billings, 70 and six. His home lanes are here at Wakefield at the Boulderdrome in Wakefield, Massachusetts. His perfect box percentage is 42. Ryan Billings with a seven and a half drop but it's going to be rounded down to a seven. He has 7,134 seasonal total pins, not counting this match. His high series is 540. He currently has a 507. He, this might be a potential high series match for Ryan Billings if he can get some more blockbuster boxes here. Will he get the spare? He won't. That's going to be a nine or a 10 box now. Seasonal total pins, 7,134. 29 out of his 70 games have been under 100 so far. Billings has bowled 14 matches so far, not counting this match. 79 and 7 for Billings. He's at 516. He is within striking distance of his high series of 540. His high single is 129. He had a 128 this game, so actually he came close to bowling that as well. He was one pin off. And he hits the pocket, and the pins awkwardly slide and wiggle, but... The six, the eight, the six and the eight pins kind of moved around a little bit, but didn't quite fall. And the seven pins standing watch. Let's see if Ryan Billings can buzz the tower for a spare here. And wow, he hits the one piece of wood out in front. Ball bounces over everything, and the piece of wood hits nothing. So he's looking at a seven, eight, nine, or ten box opportunity on lane three at, at Wakefield Bowl Drum. That's a nine box for Billings at 88 after eight. Bowlers are tied in the eighth. And he's at 525 for a match total in case you're keeping track on high series watch. With two to go, I think definitely has a good chance of getting a 540 or higher. Technically getting higher than a 540 is the one to, one to get for a new high series. That's a nine drop. It's an opening nine drop on the first ball for Ryan Billings. Spare leave opportunity on the four pin with a piece of wood. Will he get it? Let's see what he does. Billings fires and ah, he misses it off to the left. Ah, that's a heartbreaker. So he's looking at a nine or 10 box. That'll put him at 534 or 535. It's gonna put him at 534, nine box, 97 and nine for Ryan Billings. He needs seven pins to reach his high series. Or set a new high series, that is. And he needs 10 to tie Andy. He needs a mark to pass Andy. So Andy might get some points today. Ryan Billings having some trouble with some single pin spares. And that ball is off to the right. A wild pitch to the right. Doesn't connect with the head pin. Three pins fell. Seven are up. Basically, he needs to throw a strike shot to take out everything else here. Will he get it? He needs this spare, and he doesn't get the spare. He's the most he can hope for is a tie now, so Andy will take one or two points. Andy will take one or two points today, so it won't be a complete shutout. It's going to be an eight box. That's 542. That is a new high series for Ryan Billings. He concludes the fifth game with 105 for a five game total of 542. That's a new high series for Ryan Billings. Game three was nearly as high single. His high single is 129. He threw a 128. If 
542 series for Ryan Billings. Andy Klempa has a five game total of 495 with a 107 in the fifth. Let's take a look at some points, statistics, and spread. So Andy Klempa will take home two points today. Ryan Billings will take 12 points, taking games one, two, three, four, and the match for the grand total pinfall. Our bowlers both throwing two strikes today. Five strikes for Andy, 13 spares for Ryan, 14 tens for Andy, and eight tens for Ryan. Andy averaging 99 for the day, and Ryan Billings is averaging 108.4 for the day. Perfect box percentage goes to Ryan Billings at 46, and Andy with a 42% perfect box percentage. And that should just about do it for us here at the Wakefield Bowlodrome. Again, if you're new to the world of Campbellman Bowling content, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this broadcast. And if you enjoy, if you enjoy this content, also check out, I want to direct you to two YouTube channels. We have youtube.com slash at Candlepin Bowling Network for the Friday Night Pro League on Candlepin Bowling Network, as well as other ACST matches that get uploaded there, as well as Candlepin Corner for other unique productions such as Skins. I invite you to strike, comment, and subscribe to both of these pages, as well as the Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour page on Facebook. That should be just about it from us. Oh, and hey, if you're into podcasts, there's also Candlepin shows such as The Approach and Ripping the Rack, so check those out if you feel so inclined. I've been Steve Kelly along with Ryan Billings and Andy Klumpa. And from everybody here at the Wakefield Bowlodrome, have a great day, everybody.